At the beginning of the week, Marissa and I were raving about a December release, Just Cause 3, and now here is another one at Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U. I like saying Xenoblade. Or Xenoblade. It is a massive, massive RPG for this console, and it's absolutely, as you'll see, beautiful. It's totally gorgeous. The yeah. art is incredible in this thing. It is. The Wii U keeps surprising me with what it can do, yeah. and this is no exception to that. This game is friggin' huge. Yeah. It's the biggest game I think I've ever played. Friends, hold up. Something coming ahead. Well, that was the ambition of the developers. Yeah. They wanted to build something that would compete with the largest RPGs, the largest open world RPGs that are yeah. out there, e even nodding to games like Fallout 4 or the Fallout franchise. But the concept here is a little bit different from the last Xenoblade Chronicles game that we played. This is a totally different story, different take. It's still turn-based, you're still it's almost MMO-based the way that they have it. And there are MMO connections here. You can play a little co-op multiplayer, and there's lots of sort of online threading throughout the experience. And frankly, the game is so big, it'd probably be way better playing with other people. It's set a little bit in the future. Earthlings have to leave Earth. Aliens are invading. They get caught up in this galactic war, and they try to escape, but they crash land on a planet, and it is filled with continents that you have to explore. They build up a city in the remnants of their old crashed spaceship. It's I called New Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, what you're tasked to do in the game is traipse around this massive world, explore it, mine it, get resources from it, and find other survivors and other sort of pieces of technology that you can bring back into your civilization. Well, yeah, you're trying to rebuild your race, really. Yeah. You're trying to rebuild your culture here on a place that is not really your home, but you're trying to make it so. And you yeah. do feel that here with all the characters as well that you meet. And yes, all the characters that you meet, and you do collect them as well to be part of your party, they do follow all the JRPG tropes, I think. There's nothing really... You start off with amnesia. You start off yeah, with not, amnesia. Not so knowing who you are, check. yeah. Yeah. I'm totally fine with it because this game gives you so much more than that, really. Now, melee attack! If you ease into it and just sort of approach this game with like, I'm gonna be here for a while, yeah. you're gonna get a ton of value and a ton of fun out of this thing. I think at first you just start off walking with a couple of comrades through Primordia, which is the first continent that you go to, and then you start unlocking other ones and then you realize that you can swim to oh, man. these other huge, vast lands that you can explore. There's and then, so many places to go, but not only that, so many different monsters that you meet as well, and yes. different insects, yes, and you everywhere. see their level above them, which is interesting too, because you know your own level and you know what you can take down but then when you see this other beast around you that is just way higher than you, you just run away. If, yeah but then you have to level up and you do that through a lot of combat but you also do that through exploration there's a huge emphasis on that you put down all of these probe things into the ground and they can mine for stuff that you will use in your technologies or they will gather some currency for you and things. then you can fast track all the way around it and I think this may be apart from Super Mario Maker the single best use of the Wii U gamepad I've seen in any video game because it's not just a map. You get all kinds of data on there. I was constantly looking down to reposition and rejigger the probes and then fast track all over the place and yeah. constantly look at the entire scale of everywhere that I did have to explore. Right, which is Lots interesting of data. because you definitely need that. In the beginning of the game, I was actually playing Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U gamepad because you can do that here. You can yes, play the whole right. game on the gamepad and yeah. do it with you if you want to just go to a different room in your house. That's okay. But you do end up needing to go back to your screen to actually look at the gamepad to use all of those tools yeah. because you're right there's so much to do and there's so many things you need to manage yep. there's just no way you can still play the game on the gamepad so I feel like that was cool but then also a waste because I can't keep doing it and I got used to it I feel like this is a great holiday game to play this just puts a ribbon on the fact that this has been a phenomenal year for the Wii U I love it I think this is an absolute escape and it's another one of these December out of nowhere yeah. complete treats and I think every Wii U owner out there has got to play this thing. What are you going to give it? It's an 8.5. It's a 9.5 for me. Great stuff.